Good morning. We are back today to do some sweet science since we just got done with Easter. Literally. Literally sweet science. So I'm Becky mm -hmm. and this is my daughter MJ. And we As you guys can probably figure out along with the reminder of Friday. Yes. So we decided since yesterday was Easter and we probably got Easter baskets full of candy, we thought we'd show you how to do some science with what you got in your Easter basket. And like like um Gummies. Like gold bell gummies and um stuff and like um just just gummy candy. Yeah, just gummy. Yeah, so we are kind of a gummy bear family. We love those. So we are using some gummies. Um one of the experiments you could swap out with your jelly beans if you want to. So we're actually going to show two experiments today. One we're gonna do live, um, and the second it takes some time. So we're gonna show you how to set it up and then show you some of our results and then you can try it at home. So really just what you need today for these experiments. And honestly, it's mind blowing. It is mind blowing. So the first one, you just need some sort of a sweet flavored candy that has different flavors, but still the same texture. So gummies, um, gu jelly beans would work. For the second experiment, you also need some gummy candy and then just a cup of water. And we also recommend a ruler. So we are ready to get started. Mm -hmm. um, Mom, you know what to do, and I'll explain. Okay, so we are. So we should preface. So this next experiment is going to require us to pinch our nose. Yeah, we you need to pinch it really hard. Really hard. I, I can't believe it right now. Yeah, we just want to say yes. We're touching our face, and we know um, in this time uh, with COVID, we recommend not touching our face. So what we've done is we have washed our hands um, before we have done this, and then as soon as we're done we are gonna make sure that we wash your hands okay. again or use sanitizer. So just wanna make sure we put those um, those precautions out there. What are you gonna say? And there is one thing that you can do that you don't, that make sure you don't need to plug your nose or touch your face. What you can do is you can just take a simple um, like clothes thing. Clothespin? Yeah, clothespin. And you just like, Okay, so you could use a clothespin. That's a good idea. Yeah, because so. it, it's like that. And like, ah. Exactly. Ready to get started? Yep. All right, so what I'm going to do to get started is I am going to get ready to, I'm going to close my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ready to pinch my nose. I'm going to hold my hand out. Well, I'm going to have you put it in my hand because if I close, if I pinch my nose too long, I can't breathe. So. That's one of my favorite flavors, one of them. So what MJ has done, she's giving me candy. I can't see what it is. I'm going to pinch my nose. I'm going to put it in my mouth, and then I'm going to see, can I figure out what flavor it is? So here we go. Can you? What is it? All I can taste is sweet. Okay, I'm talking nice. Mmm. Orange. It was orange. I definitely could, could tell. So that's really crazy. So when I had my nose pinched, all I could do was taste it. it was, I knew it was something sweet, but it wasn't until Obviously. I unpinched my nose that I could taste. It was actually orange. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so um, let's so see. As you know, I'm going to plug my nose when she gives me the candy. Okay. All right, so then what flavor? I don't know. <laughs> don't know? I'll show the audience this is what I did. Um, you're going to unplug your nose? What was it? What is it? Oh, it's cherry. It's cherry. So this is really a fun experiment. And like I said, you could do this with jelly beans too. So what's going on is we all know that we have taste buds. And when we pinch our nose, the only thing our brain is relying on is that taste bud mm -hmm. to tell us what it is. And so what flavors do our taste buds tell us? Um, it tastes, I'm not going to tell you right now, but I will later. It's, well, there were four of them, or four or five. Um, there is bitter, sweet, um, salty, and sour. Sour. And there's also one that um, it might be a um, a first flavor or it might be a secondary. Um, it's called umami. Umami. Yep. So our taste bud, they can give us sort of the basic idea. You know, you're eating something sweet. You know, you're eating something sour. Like gummy bears. But, like the gummy bears. Okay. But what's really interesting is in our nose, we have what are called olfactory receptors, which are pieces of things in our nose which send signals to our brain, and it tells our brain the finite, the finer information, the it's, more detailed. 
It's basically like you have a book, mm -hmm. and if you plug your nose, you you can only see the main idea mm -hmm. of the story. But if you unplug your nose, you can see all the fun details in the story, so, like where they're going and what and what's happening. Yeah, um, you can see what's happening, but you can like you, you know what I mean. So it's kind of like um, with the book when your nose is plugged, it's like reading the back of the book. And then when you read the book, you get all the details. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is when we plug our nose, air doesn't circulate. And so, it, and so, it's, so mm -hmm. the air's not like bringing the um, molecules up to your brain and telling you what yeah. you're smelling. Or exactly. Smelling. So it's really interesting, like, who knew that smell played such an important part to um, taste? Like, it's really exciting. So for those of you who just... camera and he's like, me, me, me! Yeah, so Dad's kind of excited about this, too. There's also so, another thing that um, goes into it, but we're not talking about that today. Yeah. So, um, another. That, that'll be another episode, right? Yeah. So for those of you who might just join you, what we did is we were doing taste tests where we plugged our nose and tried to guess the flavor. So this is fun. Definitely pull out those jelly beans. So the next experiment is, is um, something you'll have to do with your family at home. Um, and it does take a long time. Like overnight. Um, yeah, or a few days. Um, what you can do. Should we tell them what we need first? Oh, yeah. yeah. You, need, um, <laughs> you need a glass of water. Glass using of water. Um, a container Small from contain. a container from my favorite um, yogurt. Yeah, so we're just using a, we're just reusing a glass jar. So a cup would work, a small bowl, anything that's clear. And like some type of gummy, we're using uh, gummy bears. Yeah, because we love gummy bears. Um. Anyway, so, so as you can see, um, it is only about one inch. Right. The so gummy bear is only about one. What we inch. did is we measured the gummy bear before. Before we put in water. So there's a picture of our gummy bear before. And then what we did is, and so we'll demonstrate here. So what we just do is we just take the gummy bears and you just plop them in. Just plop them in the water. And they grow. And then you let them sit. Overnight is great. So we let and, ours sit. And then they grow. See? Yeah. So Look that. How big that is. And we put those in last night, and they've been growing for a little over 12 hours. We have another picture that I took this morning. It cut, it's, it's like eels and head kind of fell off. So. It did. So what happened? So what happens is they're really waterlogged. So when I took the red one out to try to take a picture, its head fell off. So then I had to put it back together to uh, to be able to It's measure. really jiggling. It is really jiggling. So... They get a lot bigger, and so you can see from our ruler how much bigger they're getting. And so, I just hear something. Look, it's kind of like parts of it are kind of clear. Yeah, and so that's also really cool is that the water is spreading apart that gelatin and that sugar, and so you kind of get these clear edges. It's really fun to watch, and we also experimented a little bit taking pictures every you know every couple hours, you which is not, fun. You might not want to eat it though. Yeah, it wouldn't taste good. So the science behind this is our gummy bears are um, basically sugar and gelatin with some flavor. And so what happens is the sugar holds on to the water as does the gelatin. And so when you put it in the water, it's it acts like a sponge and it just keeps absorbing water and absorbing water and absorbing water and it gets bigger and bigger. And then kind you end like up with these. Kind of like what would happen to you in space. So if you didn't have a thing on. So let's also make a prediction. What do you think might happen if we didn't put it back in the water and, and we just set it? It would obviously probably make a big puddle. Um, and like you would puddle. Like, so it might shrink. So that actually might be something we will try later. Something you can do. Um, and it's just really fun to experiment around with your gummy candies. They feel so, really good. Yeah, they're really, really squishy. So um, we hope like that this gives you some ideas, yeah. some fun things that you can until, do. With, until we see you on Friday. Until, yeah, until we see you on Friday. So we definitely, if you try these experiments, you know, definitely take some videos, uh, take some pictures, share them with us. We love the um, using the hashtag TCM at home, and we really are super excited when we see what you guys are doing. And we want to give you a little bit of a preview. Uh, we're going to be back on Friday, and we're going to do some more sweet science. And but before, but, but there's one thing I want to tell you. What's that? A little of it fell off, and I did taste it. 
It tastes kind of sour, mm. and like it tastes almost like nothing. Yeah. It tastes like ale. So yeah. if you just take your tongue out, it'll be tasting the same. Yeah. Thing. So I guess we should just eat the regular ones. So for Friday, um, we are going to be doing some geology with candy. And so if you've got some Starburst or some sort of like taffy type candy in your Easter basket, hang on to a few pieces for Friday because we're going to be doing a really, really fun experiment. And, so, and if and if you follow along with us, it's it rocks. It does rock, particularly Literally. on Friday. Literally, it'll rock on Friday. So we want to thank you all for joining us, and we will see you on Friday for another live science. And have a great day.